Summer. I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm here to show you something kind of impulsive I did, which is, well, let me see if you can guess. Take a look. Look at my lids. They're very heavy. That's my hint. My hint is I got eyelash extensions. Yes, that is right. And you are probably as surprised as I am about this. About a week or two weeks ago, well, actually for the last year or so, I have been noticing eyelash extensions everywhere. I'll be at Target and the wonderful young lady helping me has these gorgeous lashes. I'll go through the McDonald's drive through line and then I'll get to get there to pay my money and that person will have these sweeping lashes. And then the person where I pick up my iced tea and my carnivore lunch, she will have lash extensions. Come to think of it, how many hours does it take to pay for lash extensions when you work at McDonald's? Oh well, don't know, but I did decide that it was something the younger folks were doing and even a lot of older folks are doing it apparently. So I decided to get it done yesterday and I have to admit that yesterday I was really not sure about it at all. And in fact, Alan said he doesn't like it. He said, it looks like I'm trying too hard and I'm not going to be hurt in the comment section because I am kind of on the fence about this right now. So let me know in the comment section if you like it, don't like it. If you have lash extensions, tell us how you feel about them. I will introduce you to the lady who did my lash extension, Shelly Mishler, who's an elite esthetician at Everyday Butte in Wichita, Kansas, a lovely little salon in a very quaint part of Wichita called College Hill. It's in an old house. It is very, very charming. But anyway, I'm going to show you my whole experience getting lash extensions, and I will introduce you to Shelly, and she is just wonderful. But first, I did want to show you a picture of myself after I came home last night and I'll put it screen to screen. And I will tell you, I shot the video last night and it was ugly, girls. I did not look very good. Alan was right. It looked like I was trying super hard. And I have since realized that when you have lash extensions, in addition to some things that you have to learn about lash extensions in general, you also really can't do your makeup as heavy as you normally do. As you can see in the picture from last night, I still have my very heavy makeup on. And with the addition of these very heavy looking lashes, and they are black, apparently they come in brown too, but she applied black to me and now I'm getting used to them. But last night, as you can tell, I looked kind of harsh in my normal makeup and the lash extensions. And I've since talked to a few of my girlfriends and they say they don't even wear eye makeup with lash extensions, which is crazy. Although I have to say, I got up this morning and they are so dramatic in and of themselves and they provide so much color that I almost didn't apply makeup either. And today I realized that I had to go very, very light on the eye makeup. So I just have a little bit of cream shimmer here and a little bit of cream on the rest of my lids. You really don't have to get as made up as you normally do with normal lashes. No mascara, you can't wear mascara with them. No eyeliner either. But as you can see, it really looks like I have eyeliner. And today, I have to admit, I am really liking them. And it's so funny, but Shelly, who you'll meet, my esthetician who applied these lashes, I asked her if sometimes people freaked out afterwards and said they didn't like them. And she said, yes, that really happens. And as Shelly will share with you, there are basically three different types of lashes you can get in terms of the fullness. Classic, which is very, very natural looking. Hybrid, which is what I got, which is a cross between the very, very natural looking classic and the volume lash. And Shelly will explain what that is in the video. I am certainly glad I didn't go any heavier, but I have to say I am getting used to these, although yesterday I was kind of freaked out, I have to admit. And before I get into every detail of my lash extension visit, I did want to show you the outfit that I have on today and the jewelry that I have on today. And the jewelry is largely from Amazon, but the shirt is a Ralph Lauren wonderful button down shirt. And I ordered like four of these to find the perfect one. I love this one. It has the Ralph Lauren logo on it. It's a little more expensive, but it is a non iron shirt. And I've realized that with button down shirts, I can't stand to iron them. So I absolutely love this one. And these are the Levi's wedgie jeans. Don't know why they're called wedgie. I don't think I get a wedgie when I wear them but they're a little shorter. I really like that. That's kind of a modern look and they are light wash, which is quite unusual for me. And if you're not yet a subscriber, I hope you consider subscribing to my channel. And if you'll give this video a thumbs up, that would help my video and the YouTube algorithm, which I would really appreciate. 
Okay, let's get back into every detail of my lash extension application starting with yesterday morning. Okay, this is the morning before I'm going to get the lash extensions. It's five o'clock in the morning. I just got up and I'm getting them at 3.30 this afternoon. I'm a little bit nervous because I'm not sure exactly which type to get, the natural looking ones, which I think are called classic, or the hybrids, which are between the very full ones and the, and the natural looking ones. I know me though, and I'm kind of a glam girl, so I'll probably go for the hybrids. But anyway, I will get them this afternoon at 3.30, and I did want to show you my lashes before I got them. This is me with obviously no mascara on. Here I am, I've arrived and I'm about to go in. Here are my eyelashes, sans any kind of makeup. I hope, let's see, it looks like I've got mascara down there. I really worked hard on getting that stuff off. <laughs> Maybe I didn't do that so well. But anyway, this is how I look right now. And I'll come out and show you in a few hours. I think it takes a couple of hours for a full set, but I'll show you how it looks in the after. And there it is in the corner there. The EB is their logo. Hi there. <laughs> it's called Everyday Beauty. Isn't that just darling? Very, very cute location. This area is called Clifton Square. And there it is, Everyday Beauty, eyelashes, salon and shop, clean beauty, mindful goods. Hi there. Hi. Oh, your, la your lashes are beautiful. <laughs> Thank I'm you. I'm Beth, I'm here for my, my visit. Okay, I got you checked in. It's Sterling in here, they have their lash menu. She's getting me a water, which is really, really sweet. Love the wallpaper. Absolutely darling. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Awesome. Thanks. And so tell me about maybe the three different types of eyelashes. Yes. Okay. So our basic type of eyelashes are going to be classic, hybrid, or volume. Classic is a one extension to one natural lash. Volume is fans, so multiple extensions to every lash. And then hybrid is half and half. So you get a little bit of classic, a little bit of volume. Hybrid is um, very customizable. Yeah, they all are actually, but if you want more of a natural look, but a little fill, a little full, then the hybrid is the I best. I think hybrid is what I'm probably yes, going for. Yes, because I think so too. You can't, you can't wear mascara, right? You should not wear mascara, okay. unless it is um, extension safe mascara, which we do offer. Awesome, okay. Um, and what about caring for them after? The maintenance for uh, eyelash extensions are just no picking, no pulling, um, just keep everything off and away from the lashes. Uh, oils are our biggest enemy in the eyelash extension right. world, um, but also you can find that sweat and um, steam, the excess heat, they can be troublesome as well. One last question. Yes. Um, if I have them now, how often do you get fills and all of that? Fills are recommended every two to three weeks, depending on how you, how harsh you are to your lashes or just how well ma maintained you keep them. Okay. Your lashes are beautiful. Thank what you. What are they? Are they the? These are volume. Volume, man, mm -hmm. they're nice. Ooh, yes. Pretty. And pretty. I just got them filled last week. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Hey, yes, explain the process, Shelly. Okay, the process is, is first we're gonna put on these little gel pads to put them underneath and keep your lower lashes out of the eyes and so that your upper and lower lashes do not adhere together at any point during the service. And then um, after I put these on, the eyes will stay shut for the remainder of the service. And then just as we go, um, I will be just, if, if you want, I'll tell you exactly what all I'm doing. If not, you can just get it enjoyable now for the next like two hours. Okay, here I am in the after. <laughs> I I liked them in there and you know I I like them I do like them but let me know in the comment section what you think I I feel like Bambi or like a Barbie doll with lots and lots of fur <laughs> I don't know she said sometimes people are a little freaked out at first maybe I'm a little freaked out but I know I looked kind of ugly before because I remember thinking, boy, without mascara and stuff, you look very, very peaked. She did say that this is the, this is the one I asked for, which is the hybrid, which is a mix between classic, which is just one lash per eyelash and volume. Man, this looks so volume to me. But anyway, 
I could go back and go less next time and go back more towards the classic, but what do you think? I don't know, it's kind of interesting. Okay, here it is the next day, and I've gotten more used to these lashes. I, I don't think they look as crazy as I thought they looked last night. They are still rather intense, and I will say I really did not need eye makeup this morning. I put on a little white here, a little shimmer white, and just a little normal white here, and even a little normal white there, because I feel like the lashes are so intense that when I had full makeup on in that video that I shot last night, it just didn't look very good. In fact, I could probably do with even less eye makeup than I have now, and a lot of my friends who have lash extensions, they really don't wear eye makeup. They just kind of let the lashes do the talking, and these lashes are talking loud, so I can certainly understand that. I think I will definitely continue this at least for a few more fills, but I think I'll go more towards the classic the less intense look because these are these are pretty intense and in terms of the cost for the lash extensions i have to say these were a little bit on the pricey side and that is because shelly is an elite esthetician and so if you go to an apprentice or someone lower than an elite esthetician and this was the same across many shops that i called you will pay less than this but it was 170 dollars application for this level of eyelash this is a little more than classic, not quite so much as volume. And then the fills in the future are $70. And if you're thinking about getting lash extensions, do your research, call around to various salons, ask a friend. Actually, that is the best way probably to find an expert technician, to find someone you like, is to find a friend whose lashes you love. Okay, thank you for being with me on my lash extension journey. And at least for now, I have them. And I plan to get at least another probably fill or two. We'll see how that goes. We'll see if I keep them up because I have to admit, I already spend good money on these nails and I'm not really sure I want to add eyelash extensions into the mix, but we will figure that out down the road. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And I've been reading from these Gabrielle Bernstein Super Attractor cards. And these are absolutely wonderful. These are affirmations. And sometimes I will pick one out in the morning and it will be so good that I will carry it with me for the whole day and really try to concentrate on that affirmation. Let's choose one here. Ooh, I love this. Appreciation dissolves all blocks to the presence of my super attractor power. Appreciation dissolves all blocks to the presence of my super attractor power. You know, I absolutely love this card and it really plays into something that I've been experiencing lately. And that is that for some reason, I don't know what it is, but I have realized that I have super amounts of blessings in my life. Actually, I kind of do know what it is. I had a hip replacement three weeks ago in two days, three weeks ago Friday, and through that experience, I realized how much love and support I really do have in my life. Everyone around me was so supportive. I got flowers, I got texts, I got phone calls, I had visits from people. It was amazing how very loved I felt, and really it gave me a true sense of gratitude for my life and appreciation. And you know, I have kind of been walking on cloud nine after that. It's like I got started on the road of gratitude and appreciation and I just kept going because I realized not only do I have wonderful friends and family, but I have just about every other blessing known to man. I mean, we all have a few problems in life. We all have our struggles, but for the most part, life is good. So friends, just for today, let's both of us stay on the pathway to appreciation and gratitude. Because when we do that, we dissolve all blocks to the presence of our super attractor power. When we feel happy and positive and grateful, the universe just gives us more things to make us feel even better. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.